Ah, love. Can you feel it? Exciting and <laughs> Can you feel it? Wouldn't it be great to know if your date was Prince Charming or a creep hiding an arrest record? Well, guess what? Now you can. A new phone app called Date Check, which gives instant background checks on potential suitors. Yeah, could be a great idea, right? But can a little too much technology get in Cupid's way? Joining our relationship segment with their take on the trend, relationship experts Anna David, who's the author of Bought, and Matt Titus, founder of AskMattAndTampson.com. Good to have you both back with us this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Matt, I'll start with you because you're closest to me. Really? <laughs> I'm sitting out on a date and all of a sudden, or I'm about to go, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, let's see. Does he have a criminal record? That might be good to know. But really, what's his net worth? All right, stop right there. Here, the second part of that bothers me. I'm all for any iPhone app that's going to steer daters away from serial killers, felons, and frauds. But to be able to hit a button and be able to get someone's net worth or assets, that bothers me. Listen, you're supposed to be able to fall in love and Believe, find out who somebody is by getting to know them mm -hmm. and it's up to them to tell you exactly you know what they want you to know yeah. listen if my wife did this five years ago about my net worth and my assets we never would have dated single now, but you? of course now <laughs> she hit the jackpot now of course ain't that the truth yeah, so as of author of bought let me ask you <laughs> <laughs> your thought on a button that could tell you someone's net worth I mean, what do you think does this take kind of the romance out of things well first let me just say that if you're if your potential dates are going to have criminal records maybe you've got problems that Bigger an iPhone issues, application perhaps. can't <laughs> help you with. Yeah. That is a good point, I'd like to say. You know, there have been a number of other sites, there's like Don't Date Him Girl and yeah. Woman Savers, where anybody can post, including a bitter ex, so yeah. at least this is a more accurate representation. I agree, the net worth thing, I mean, maybe people who wouldn't normally care about that kind of thing are sort of subtly encouraged to care because it's right there at the tip of your fingertips, yeah. you know what I mean? So, so, okay, so you're both encouraging a little more talking. Obviously, I think right. we agree with that. Communication, Communication then again, is good. Go a long way. it's what a Google search can show you. Yeah, you can do it with Google, but you know, it's really. But you can also use your phone. There's a lot of errors too with background checks and credit reports and net value. People hide their assets. You don't know. Right. I think you're getting a lot of erroneous information that's going to maybe steer you clear of someone that might really be worth something. And so let's say you, you confront someone and say, hey, I see that you were arrested for shoplifting in 1983. Can you explain that, please? Can you explain <laughs> that? I mean, that's got to be a little bit of a turnoff, especially if it turns out that you did get the wrong information. I don't know if arrest records, those are probably going to be pretty accurate. I just think but, that's but I would agree that listen, network no, 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 people but if it's do the wrong name, assets. I mean, it could be yeah. someone else with the same name. That's what I'm saying. And it's showing up uh, as the guy you're out with to dinner. Plus, I don't want you Googling and searching me. I want you to get oh, to know like me for who I am. Right. In, these, in this day and age, as much as you may want that to happen, Matt, I want it to happen, Erica. Googling. What do you think I did before I met Raggy? I don't blame I you. I have to sit next to this guy for two hours? Surprising. Chris Raggy. Okay, so let's move on. But this isn't the only application we have to talk about, right? <laughs> That's exactly. There's another application Is that a, a certain someone we know actually came up with, and we'd love to ask him about. And it. Probably, probably likes this application. The real life Cupid himself, me, mm -hmm. Matt Titus, mm -hmm. Pocket Cupid. Okay, how about love advice from a team of relationship experts waiting to answer your questions instantaneously, whether you're on a date or after a date to debrief, they're sitting there waiting. What do you on think about that? On a date, though. What do I think about that on a date? I think on a date, it's a terrible idea. I'm sorry, Matt, but and I, I want to bring you, know you in on this. Says, how pathetic what? do you have to be that you need advice? It's, you can yeah, make a misstep. They're not all yeah. you, Chris. But what are you going to do, Matt? Oh, what are you going to do? Run to the bathroom and say, well, you know, I'll be right back. I just need to powder my nose. There you go. I need to check in with my relationship experts. He just ordered the duck. Is that good or bad? Well, that's a bad thing. No duck on a first date. But I have to tell you something. Listen, please. See, aren't you glad you asked? This is a very good thing. You know, the genders have a, a big problem understanding each other. And if I can help a woman understand a man or, you know, vice versa, it's going to really help. We're just explaining things to daters. Okay. And it really helps. I think it is a good thing, and I am not saying that just because he's sitting right. next Thank to Thank you very much. However, I do think that at a certain point, it's good for boosting sort of confidence and, and you know, helping people out in certain situations, but at a certain point, you're on your own, yeah. and you should be who you are. But men are so hard to understand, and so are women. I think that you need that pocket here, here. Cupid. It's mm. mm -hmm. <laughs> a, nice, a nice sales pitch. Thank you very more. much. Man knows what he's both, talking about. Come on. Have both of you with us this <laughs> morning. We'll hash this one out during the break for you. But we're not done yet. Up next, the secret to a delicious.